For most teachers, getting involved in extracurricular activities or staying late to help students is just part of the job. Elementary school teacher Mitchell Van Dyke is one example of a teacher who goes the extra mile for his students. You shouldn't be an Internet Explorer. Google Chrome would be better. It's a story repeated countless times in schools everywhere. Yeah. Teachers giving their time outside school hours for the benefit of students. And then when you do, you click this download button. Okay. okay. You save it. Mitchell Van Dyke teaches grade six at Dorothy Dalgleish School in Picture Butte. He's one of those teachers who regularly puts in extra hours after school to work with students. Yeah, for me it's all about building relationships. So um, any way I can build relationships with the students um, is another way to make an impact and a difference in their lives. And so whether it's um, you know a sports program or a computer class program, kind of like we're doing today, um, it's just an opportunity for me to get to know the students a little bit better and to um, try to make a difference in their lives. In addition to offering an after-school computer technology class, Mitchell runs a weekly math tutoring program and helps run school sports. He says that students are encouraged and inspired to learn when they see their teacher is willing to spend extra time with them. By no means am I unique. Um, I think every teacher I know spends a lot of time outside of the school hours planning and preparing for their students. Whether it's doing something like this or whether it's planning amazing activities for the next day, spending their own money, shopping for resources and things like that, or you know anything to um, make school a, a fun, interesting place to be where the students are learning and um, a place where they love to be. Many parents say the extra time teachers spend helping their children pays off. Mackenzie um, has autism. She was diagnosed when she was four years old. Um, she benefits from the teachers and all the programs that they offer. She has excelled extremely. She doesn't have meltdowns like she used to. Um, it's great. So then what do you have to do from 10 to get to 9? Minus 1. So what did you do? You did I just, I can't believe the amount of work while well, this teacher in particular, Mr. Van Dyke, does after school. He's part of the um, mini basketball and, and mini volleyball after school. And again, my daughter, she does that. And they do things at lunchtime. They do extra fun sort of activities um, as well. Instead of taking a lunch break, they take time with the kids and, and do special things there too. So I just think it's phenomenal that they have the passion and the drive to want to impact these kids in the most beneficial way. How's it going there, boys? Mitchell says putting in extra hours after school isn't a hardship when you like the kids and love being a teacher. Uh, I always tell uh, my students here that, you know, there's nothing I'd rather be doing except for to be an NHL hockey player. So uh, it's, it's um, the reason I get up in the morning. I, I love spending time with these guys every single day. Um, and I always I tell people, any, anyone who asks that I come to work with a song in my heart and a smile on my face. So, you know, there's really nothing I'd rather be doing because my hockey skills aren't that great, so.